Hey YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, other people watching from outer space. Today I am going to be reviewing something for White Castle once again. That's right, White Castle. Same people that brought you the disgusting brisket sandwich. So today at White Castle, they are uh, advertising what they call the Nashville inspired hot chicken sandwich and they also have a new chicken sandwich called the the chicken smoked bacon or smoked cheddar bacon I'm not sure if it's smoked bacon or smoked cheddar but it's got bacon and cheddar on it and it says it's new and you could get both of these and either grilled or chicken or grilled or crispy chicken I got them both crispy just because I think white casseroles Grilled chicken is terribly dry. So let's try them out. Whatever one I reach in and grab first will be first. Ah, this one is the smoked smoked cheddar and bacon. See that? It does smell a bit smoky. Nothing on the bottom, no sauce, just the chicken and the cheese and the bacon. Let's give it a taste. Even the crispy is a bit dry. You can see in there, it kind of looks like a desert. I do think it's the cheese that's a smoked flavor to it. The bacon is decent. The cheese is pretty good on this. Um, the smoked cheddar. I don't know if they are using the smoked cheddar for other things, but that's a, a decent uh, cheese. It's pretty flavorful. The chicken is very dry. And uh, you could use some sauce probably. I'm going to give the smoked cheddar bacon crispy chicken sandwich from White Castle a six and a half uh, if you put some sauce on it that would probably help speaking of sauce let's try oh they even wrapped it you can tell it's pretty saucy in there Alrighty. It looks super wet. There's the sauce on it. And this one has two fried pickles on it. Um, you can also get these fried pickles as a side. I think it's like $2 for a side sack. But uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. The sauce does do a lot for the moistness of the sandwich. Even though I can tell this was made with the same dry kind of fried chicken patty they have, the sauce just adds enough lubricant and moisture to this sandwich that it, you uh, 
you don't necessarily uh, have a dry mouth. Now the spice on this is actually pretty decent. It's not as spicy as the KFC uh, Nashville Hot. And flavor-wise, it's different than the KFC Nashville Hot. This one has like a like a tang to it as well as a spice. It's like a zing. Probably one of the spiciest sandwiches I've, I've had at White Castle, though. Way hotter than their uh, their buffalo chicken stuff or their jalapeno uh, sandwiches. Uh, there's a lot of sauce on there, so the uh, the spice really uh, coats the inside of your mouth and everything. The the fried pickle when I bit into it. It kind of like took the whole pickle and just left a shell inside of there. Um, it really didn't do a lot for it. Uh, I think regular pickle slices would probably be better for this. Um, I don't think when you get Nashville hot chicken, they give you fried pickles. I think they just give you regular pickles anyway. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, I like the sauce. It's got a really nice amount of spice to it. It adds enough moisture to the sandwich that you're not going to get all stuck in the throat, needing a drink to get stuff down. But uh, it's hit and miss. It's uh, one of the better things I've tasted at White Castle in a while, besides just the regular sliders. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely has room for improvement, but I like the direction it's going in. That is the Nashville inspired hot chicken slider from White Castle. If you guys have tried either one of these, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of them? Now, and price wise, the hot chicken is $1.79 and the smoked cheddar is $1.89. So the better one was 10 cents cheaper. Until next time, guys, hope you like this video. Bye.